United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We, we are, are comics. comics. Disney Sony standoff ends Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige's involvement in Spider Man. An article by Mike Fleming Jr. This is on August the 20th, around 8 55 p.m. This is coming from Deadline.com. Exciting news. Disney Sony standoff ends. Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige's involvement in Spider Man. So, does this mean the Spider Verse shall now go full force with Venom and Spider Man together? Now, no longer is Spider Man having any obligations to Disney Marvel. So, it sounds to me they're going to go full force Spider Verse and actually try to compete with the Marvel Direct film. Sony Pictures spent much of yesterday trying to spin deadline about the prospective loss of Kevin Feige from future Spider-Man films. First, the studio downplayed the idea he might be leaving. Then insiders pinned his exit on adding responsibilities from the Fox acquisition of X-Men franchise, though they declined to make a statement. All this was reflected as factors in deadline's break of an important and widely regurgitated story. But sources maintained that Kevin Feige's exit was about money. It was about Disney seeking the 50-50 Ko-Fi stake as the price for Marvel and Feige's continuing guiding hand that resulted in the delivery of Sony's biggest grossing film ever. Sony declined to meet those terms. It was an aggressive stance by Disney, which already owns the merchandise on Spider-Man. And a tough nut to s for Sony to swallow giving up half of its most valuable franchise. But these talks had been going on for some time. Had Sony agreed to Disney's acts, Marvel and Feige would not have withdrawn from Spider-Man films, sources said. Hmm. I'm really not too surprised by this. I pretty much expected this to happen at some point because I knew that, that uh, Kevin Feige was not going to be a be able to acquire spider-man because what sony has shown so far that they value spider-man so since they still value it they're going to keep it and kevin feige is probably like you know what it's no need to continue this we can move forward and use those resources toward our films you know you would love to have spider-man in mcu because it's spider-man but since you can't you got to do the next best thing so he moved right along, as I would say. Sony issued a statement late in the evening, not denying anything Deadline revealed yesterday, but reiterating its stance that Faye was too busy, which seems like a spin. Deadline stands squarely behind its reporting. How important is Faye to the future of this franchise? We'll find out down the line. Sony is planning two more installments, though. It is an open question whether those will include John Watts, director of the first two films guided creatively by Feige. Watts isn't signed on for the next film and isn't a certainly and isn't a certainty to be back as he is be being heavily courted for other jobs. Of course he is. Could Sony find itself baying against Marvel for Watts' future services as director? Here is Sony's late evening statement. Much of today's news about Spider-Man has mischaracterized recent discussions about Fe Kevin Feige's involvement in the franchise. We are disappointed, but respect Disney's decision not to have him continue as a lead producer of our next live-action Spider-Man film. A Sony spokesperson said that was. We hope this might change in the future, but understand that the many new responsibilities that Disney has given him including all their newly added Marvel properties, do not allow time for him to work on IP they do not own. Makes sense to me. Kevin is terrific and we are grateful for his help and guidance and appreciate the path he has helped put us on, which will continue. Uh-huh, so basically saying they want everybody to know that we have learned from our experiences with Direct Marvel, aka Feige, so, we feel since we are never going to agree completely, we're moving forward with the new knowledge and we want everybody to know that 
it will continue on and be you know good and have the same marvelesque quality that's what they're trying to say basically they're saying that they have learned from the master and now they will go forward and it will be just as good so you may now watch the student as well as the master's films because they're going to be equivalent not going to happen i'm sure the quality is going to drop majorly without kevin Feige's involvement that's just the way it is that's just the way it is that's that's my opinion but you know that's what Joni show thinks Previous deadline exclusive. Deadline exclusive. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige won't produce any further Spider Man films because of an inability by Disney and Sony Pictures to reach new terms that would have given the former a co financing stake going forward. A, a dispute that has taken place over the past few months at the top of Disney and Sony has essentially nixed Feige and the future involvement of Marvel from the Marvel Spider-Man universe, sources said. This comes at a moment when the last two films Kevin Feige produced broke all-time records. Disney's Avengers Endgame woohoo, began, became the highest grossing film of all time, and Spider-Man Far From Home this week surpassed the James Bond film Skyfall to become the all-time highest grossing film for Sony Pictures. Wow, I had no clue. Had no clue it made quite that much. So that's their number one film now. Well, that pretty much tells you their future, doesn't it? Sources said there are two more Spider-Man films in the works and the studios hope to have director John Watts and Tom Holland front and center. Though Watts doesn't have a deal for the next picture and it isn't locked to return, that isn't helped by the fact that Unless something dramatic happens, Feige won't be the lead creative producer of those pictures. And that is something to worry about, since really he's the true one who ever truly was successful at making our comic films come to life for us to enjoy. I, Until someone else can prove it, I feel like without his involvement, it cannot truly amount to something that will appease us, the audience. That's my opinion. There is a lot of webbing here, but it all comes down to money, and it's easy to understand why both sides refuse to give ground. Disney asks the future Spider-Man films be a 50-50 co-financing arrangement between the studios, and there were discussions that this might extend to other films in the Spider-Man universe. 50-50? Sounds fair. What's the problem? Sony turned that offer down. Flat. Okay, 50-50 is not good enough for them? What, they want part of the merchandise as well since I think they just said um, Marvel still owns some of uh, the merchandise in the Spider-Man so I don't know money 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 they just can't get along what about us the fans make sure we're happy how about that because you're still gonna make money either way so why not just make something amazing and say to hell with the money sources said that Sony led by Tom Rothman and Tony Vincent Cuera came back with other configurations, but Disney didn't want to do that. But Sony did not want to share its biggest franchise. Sure, Disney would be putting up half the funding, but the risk is in how much you are going to make back in profit. So yep, all about the money. Moving right along. Disney wasn't at all interested in continuing the current terms, where Marvel receives in the range of 5% of the first dollar gross, sources said. Now it's easy to say that Feige has enough on his plate, especially after taking control of the X-Men universe in the Fox acquisition. Totally agree with that. Focus on doing X-Men right. Focus on doing Fantastic Four right. If anybody can do it, Marvel Studios can. Okay back from my rant including now it's easy to say that Feige has enough on his plate especially after taking control of the X-Men universe in the Fox acquisition including the Deadpool franchise